have to do right away is get an email to Gabe and have Gabe send a memo out to every team, every person, saying, listen, we've got residents that have issues, and, you know, but not only with the foul balls, but listen, what you're telling us now, it's, 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 and Rich, you know, Rich says he was there at one point, there are good people that are playing that are saying, hey, guys, calm down. To be abused and that, to go through that, that's uncalled for. It has to be a strong memo that, look, it's not going to be tolerated. And if there, you know, if there's a constant complaint and it can be identified with any team or any individual, you're going to be removed. You're not going to be able to play for the record. You know, again, nobody needs to go through that. But I'd like to also say how, you know, I don't understand what's going on when the games are not being stopped. Um, the balls are constantly flying in our, in our lot. When we go over there to get them and make sure that our neighbors' cars are not hit, we have, we're being verbally abused, we're being threatened. They told my husband, we hope your car does get hit. So that makes me fearful of going to my car, that they're going to know what kind of car I drive, throw a ball at it, and, and damage it. I have a lease. I can't afford to keep having my car repaired. It's not right. Not only that, the coaches are telling the young players, I have a picture on my phone if you'd like to see it, of a young kid climbing our fence. The coaches are saying, hurry up, I think it hit a car. Get it. And they're saying what spot it is. Go get it. I don't think that's right. They shouldn't be telling little children to jump a fence and then we're getting yelled at when we won't give the ball back. It's not right and something needs to be done about it. We're being harassed, we're being threatened, and verbally abused. Um, not only that, I know the nets are there, but there's children practicing between the fences. They're practicing in between the fences, so the net is here. They're behind the net right by our parking lot. And there's a girl winding up, pitching, and I'm watching her. She's pitching real fastballs right where our cars are. I don't know why there's a net there if they're going to practice behind the net. It's not protecting our cars with just a four-foot or five-foot fence. So that needs to be stopped. My question is, who's governing these games? Who's the official overseeing the behavior by coaches, by parents, by standards, by who's governing this, observing what's going on in the behavior? Well, it is the West Caldwell Caldwell Recreation Department. And that is uh, Mr. Gabe DeMassey, and we have had numerous conversations with him about just what you're saying. Is he physically there at every game? No. no. So who is there governing no, what these coaches are doing? Well, it's the coaches. They, they're self-governing, but apparently... Yeah, I mean, just, uh, you know, with all due respect, I mean, no, I, I, know, I, don't, I understand it's not you. The governing body but can't dictate how people act. No, but you have to public. understand that as a community facility how your residents are being affected. We are residents, right. and we're entitled to rights just as they are. Mm -hmm. And just like everyone else said, it is baseball. This is my life and my livelihood. I pay rent, I deserve to come home and not have to have the stress. And not only that, the games are going on until 11 o'clock every single night. I have bright lights <laughs> shining in my window, people screaming. It's horrible. I, have, I teach first grade, I have 26 energetic first graders. Every morning I get up at 6 a.m. I have to be alert and ready for. I can't get to bed on time. I'm tired in the morning. I'm driving. Yelling and cursing. We have to hear that since from 6 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes past 11, like 11 15, <coughs> they will stay later and Hang talk out. about yeah. hanging out. And it's just completely disturb like, disturbed our daily life. Mm -hmm. We couldn't rest. I should have to get up by 6. I work in Yorktown, so I have to get up by 6 right. also. So we don't get up and sleep. And so, video. In affect our job performance, and uh, we try to relax, and we can't. That's all we hear. It's cursing, and uh, I have really some report. Screaming. It just. I mean, I understand ball games, they silence, you know, but it doesn't have to be this late. Yeah. You can play the nine o'clock, and then you pack up and go. And give us some peace. Yeah. So this is uh, around ten fifteen. I record. <coughs> Yeah, there's real screaming. I mean, that's just talking. They're, they're screaming, like, real. You know, I understand it's a game, but it's not 11 o'clock at night. I mean, mm -hmm. Do you find that to be being done during baseball games, more so than the softball it's games? And, and the only reason I'm trying to, I'm trying to mm -hmm. discern, because I mean, your, your concerns are, mm -hmm. are very concerning. Mm -hmm. And what we want to try to be able to do now is at least get, a, get an idea. I mean, mm -hmm. we have softball going on over there. We also have baseball. I have a lot of pictures on my telephone. Oh, yeah. The movie of abuse is a part of adult. They probably in a game, they're more hot-headed when they're playing. 
So when the ball over the fence, mm -hmm. and I heard it hit the car, mm -hmm. I don't know who's, but as a concern to our neighbor, our neighbors, and uh, also as a concern, Mr. Tom Kelly, I went out to grab the ball, and then they say, hey, can you give me the ball? I say, I can give you the ball because that's the evidence that I can show in the township how dangerous this ball can reach over and, and jeopardize and danger so all personal abused, problems. So, so you're getting abused and harassed by And then you say softball and baseball players. Mm -hmm. Then you call, call me an A-word, a right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to say here. Mm -hmm. And they say, oh, you, they, they say, I hope you go, I'll call you a hit. So and I get nervous, I said, don't go near my car, don't go near my car, I don't want them to see what kind of car I have, because they might damage it. You know, and I feel like I can uh, put you in our shoes. And what, the, what they say to me was that this is town league, so we pretty much have the right to do whatever. That's what it was. Well, I, I, I say to him, this is a town league organized by the town, and so it's not our fault we're playing. It's not our fault at all. That's not happening. So I, I have uh, you know, uh, some feedback before you, and, and as well as a question to you for this mm -hmm. year. Um, I was playing in a game, mm -hmm. and there was an incident, and there were some people that were yelling to somebody in the park. I don't know if it was you, I don't mm -hmm. know if it was somebody else. And I can tell you, you know, the flip side of that, is the umpires that were there, as well as a number of other players, were telling those people that were interacting poorly with whomever to keep their mouth shut, go back to playing games. So, you know, the flip side is that there are some responsible adults that are being threatening being done. Is it appropriate for them to contact the police, or yes, is that really? Yes, it is. So, you know, that, that, that will really make an impact. Mm -hmm. you know. The game, the yelling, 